Greetings Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet, this is Rendog coming at you from the brand new machine rooms in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were working on crafting advanced machine blocks which are required to make an industrial blast furnace and in this episode guys we are going to be making an industrial blast furnace in this position over here and it is going to be freaking sweet damn also guys i'm going to be finishing off the design of the machine room as you can see i've already improved it a little bit i've moved the macerator over from the battery room into its rightful position over here in the machine room and I've added some uh, of these awesome marble covers to sort of finish the look of the place. And I've also moved the electrical engine above the rolling machine so we can now turn the rolling machine on and off and, and optimize our use of power so as not to be constantly draining our MFE via the electrical engine. What we still need to do, guys, is add this piping mechanism to each of our machines so that we can automatically remove the goods that our machines create for us um, from the compressor, from the rolling machine and from the industrial electrolyzer. So we're going to be doing that in this episode also, guys, uh, just finishing off the machine room once and for all. But damn, dudes, we have got a ton of work to do today. The industrial blast furnace is quite the build um, and we're going to be spending quite a lot of time crafting. So the first thing we need to do, guys, let's have a look at the industrial blast furnace recipe. It looks really complicated, so let's take this one piece at a time. The first thing we need to work on is a cupro nickel heating coil, and it looks like we need the rolling machine to make these. All we need is copper, and it looks like nickel ingots, and we've got all of that in our inventory ready to go, guys. All we need to do to make nickel ingots is to smelt down nickel dust, and this nickel dust is um, acquired from macerating um, feros, fero, ferrous ore, I think it is. Um, it's one of the ores that you find in Feed the Bee. So all we've got to do is smelt down these nickel um, piles of nickel dust, go and collect them in the Cyber Lamps maintenance level, and then we'll be able to head over to the rolling machine to make our copper nickel heating coils. And while those coils are being made, um, we will uh, spend some time doing some design work on the machine room. But guys, um, I've been having a look at the recipe here are the nickel ingots. I've been having a look at the recipe for the blast uh, furnace and what we need to do, and check how sweet this is, guys. We actually need to add lava to the middle of the blast furnace. So if you can imagine, the blast furnace is smelting down titanium, right? Um, so that is pretty insane. So we're going to have to add lava to the middle of the blast furnace. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about at the end of this episode when we build the industrial blast furnace. But I just had to pick up a bit of lava there from our lava reservoir tanks. Now, guys, let's head over to our rolling machine. And all we got to do now is make our Capro nickel heating coils. And they are really easy to make. Check. We've got to put a, the copper ingots in this configuration and then the nickel ingots in this configuration. And bam, we have a Capro nickel heating coil recipe. Let's turn this puppy on. Kaplai. Sweet. And um, the rolling machine is now going to create these Capro nickel heating coils for us. While the rolling coil is doing, while the rolling coil, the rolling machine is doing its business, why don't we work on um, some automatic um, item receiving machine things, <laughs> which is just complicated words for sucking out items out of the butthole of our um, machines <laughs> in the machine room. So very easy to do exactly like we did in the auto furnace room. Let's turn that bad boy on. Now the compressor is just going to automatically um, uh, expel the stuff that it makes into these pipes and that's going to go down into the cyber labs maintenance level now we're going to have to do the same over here for the rolling machine but it looks like we're going to have to um, do a little bit of work over here why don't we try and put the the redstone engine to the side of it obviously we've had to rewire the rolling machine to get the power to the um, electrical engine but i think this should be easy enough to do let's just get the wooden transport pipe up in there it looks like it's connecting itself to the industrial electrolyzer, but I don't think that that should be a problem. Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it might mess with it, but I think that's going to be okay. Let's get our redstone engine over there. Then what we'll do is cover the shame with um, marble covers on the other side of this uh, of this machinery over here. So that should be working now. That's going to be pumping out the, there we go, the, the, the copper nickel heating coils. We'll collect those as they come out of these did, oh, okay. So they fell down. That's okay. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Um, that's definitely not good. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure what we can do about that, but we'll probably have to. I don't know. We'll have to find a way to. Hmm. 
that is not good at all. The, the copper nickel, well, the things that the rolling machine makes actually go into the industrial electrolyzer. That is not a good thing. I'm gonna have to think about how to fix this, guys. If you guys have uh, any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Let's um, just finish this job off right now, though. Um, we will be sucking out the goods out of the industrial electrolyzer out of this side, I think. Redstone engine down um, over here. And levify that bad boy. Complain. And actually, uh, that doesn't actually matter because if the, the copper nickel heating coils go into the electrolyzer, it's just going to get sucked out anyway, right? So um, that's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, it's mildly annoying though, I have to say, but um, we will sort this out um, at some other point. Man, this this is annoying me though. This lever has to be facing the correct way. Um, no, you're not facing the correct way. It needs to face the same way as his brothers. There we go. Okay, great stuff. So, the rolling machine has one more copper nickel um, heating coil to make. You actually have to click on it to activate it, which is a bit strange. But um, while that is finally producing that, let's head down into the Cyber Labs maintenance level, connect up the pipes. What we're going to have to do is get some iron pipes going here too. Um, so that, uh, no, 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 let, let's do this properly. Um, so that, you know, the materials flow really nicely, just like in the auto furnace room. But I'll do that work off camera, guys. Um, for now, we're just doing a basic setup here of the machine room. And uh, the next time we have a look at this, it will be all nicely fixed. But this is going to go down into this chest eventually. And uh, there, the, the copper nickel heating coils, the final copper nickel heating coils are coming down. Let's fast track their delivery by uh, <laughs> removing this cobblestone pipe. Sacrilege! Um, but we still have a butt ton to do in this episode, guys. So we can't be hanging around waiting for copper nickel freaking heating coils. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's finish this off. And what I'll do at the end of this episode off camera is get some iron pipage down here and sort out this piping once and for all. Now, before we get back to making the industrial blast furnace, let's just finish off the final work in the machine room. Um, I'm gonna turn off that engine to preserve some power. Let's get the the um, the marble covers down. I'm just, I just re I'm really excited to complete the, the design of this room. And I just absolutely love working with these marble covers. For some reason, I find it really satisfying placing them. Um, I just love the, the, the mechanic, you know, like how they, how they let you place it. I, I just think it's it's done so, so well. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. So that's looking awesome. And I think what we need to do is add a couple covers to the sides here, um, just like this. And then it looks like we need a couple strips to run up the sides of the, um, the, power, the, the power button of the rolling machine. There we go. And I kind of like seeing the engine. So I think I'm just gonna leave the engine open. Why don't we add one more strip over here There we go. Nice. Okay, that looks excellent. I actually really love seeing the engine um, of the rolling machine. So that that works for me, man. I'm happy with that. Okay, awesome. Man, the, uh, the machine room is looking absolutely sweet. Cannot wait to get a couple more machines in here. But guys, why don't we head back to the project table. We have a butt ton of work to do, guys. It is time to start crafting the industrial furnace. Now, the industrial furnace is made up of two parts. The industrial furnace machine and and a machine casing that is three by three by four, and inside the machine casing is um, is lava. So, so it's a it's a really complex recipe, but really really freaking sweet. We've got our machine blocks from the previous episode. We've got our copper and nickel heating coils ready to go. And uh, I just before we get going, I just want to make one more ruby pickaxe. You guys were asking me why my pickaxe is red. That's because it's a ruby pickaxe. Um, a ruby pickaxe does the same damage as a diamond pickaxe. I don't know how to explain it, but it has far less durability. I think it has the same durability as an iron pickaxe. Um, so that's why I'm using them because they're the same strength as a diamond pickaxe, but I don't have to waste my diamonds. So guys, let's get cracking on making an industrial blast furnace. Let's get straight into it, man. Right, let's have a look at the recipe. Damn, <laughs> looks really complicated, but we've already nailed the copper nickel heating coils. So that is cool. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, 
what about what's next we've got electrical circuits to make those are really easy to make and we've got to make these induction furnaces so why don't we make the induction furnaces looks really simple all we need is some copper ingots an electrical furnace and an advanced machine block we've already made the advanced machine block in the previous episode so now the most complicated thing to make is the electrical furnace and that looks really basic all we need is an iron furnace an electrical circuit some redstone and um, the iron furnace is simply made like this so that is really basic stuff guys uh, you know the I mean let's have a look right Let, let's just make the, the 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 iron furnaces first so those are the two iron furnaces that we need to make now we need to make electrical circuits we need to make a butt ton of them for this recipe so i think what i'm going to do is just max out on electrical circuits i've kind of counted the amount of materials that we need um to, to, for this project so we should be good um with the materials I keep doing this. I keep putting like way too many materials in the project table. Let's use this project table correctly, guys. There we go. So let's just max out on um, copper cables because copper cables are what we need to make electrical circuits. And now what we need to do is max out on electrical circuits. So all we got to do is the recipe for electrical circuits. You guys know how it works, right? Can you guys remember? Redstone on the sides. There we go. Electrical circuits. Let's just max out on those. 21 electrical circuits. Now the induction, um, what we were making, an electrical furnace. How did that How did that look again? Let's have a look. Electric furnace. Really, really simple. Um, redstone, furnace, electrical circuit times two. Um, those are our electrical furnaces. Let's get back to our industrial uh, our induction furnace recipe now we need our advanced machine blocks our electrical uh, furnace surrounded by copper so that is pretty easy we need two of these advanced machine blocks and our electrical furnaces and copper around them and bam two induction furnaces guys we are one step closer to making oh my god i'm so excited to making the industrial blast furnace so we know that we need to have the induction furnaces here we need to have our copper and nickel heating cables like this we need to have our, an, our advanced machine block in there and we need to have two electrical circuits along there industrial blast furnace in the belly do not mind if i do baby oh my goodness look at that guys industrial blast furnace looks epic it's got flames coming out of it i mean <laughs> how awesome is that i am so excited to get this thing fired up right next up guys that's the first part of the industrial blast furnace the next thing we need is 34 machine casings now machine casings um, are really easy to make but they do require a ridiculous butt ton of refined iron and i think we have enough hopefully we do let's have a look at the recipe so it's refined iron along the top it's electrical circuits along the side and a machine block in the middle so um let's we got to make some machine blocks right so you get four of um you get four machine casings per cycle so why don't we make 10 machine blocks for now and i do believe the refined iron um oh, it looks like we're gonna have to pick up a whole a, a ton more refined iron i think um, we need a butt ton more refined iron here is some refined iron and i think if we head down into the cyber labs the maintenance level there should be some more refined iron in this chest um let's have a look we might need to refine a, a, a few, there, there's a bit more we might need to get this iron refined too so let's head back to the auto furnace room um, and we'll start refining some iron but hopefully we have enough iron to complete these machine casings i'm pretty sure that um, i calculated the the correct amount of um, of iron to use but you know this recipe was so complicated i might have i might have missed a trick at some point um, but let's just get all this iron refined just in case we need some more plus it's really awesome getting the <laughs> the auto furnace room fully blazing man i love it um, right so we've got i mean we've got a ton of refined iron here so let's check what it's what it's going to take to make 34 machine casings um this is the recipe like this all right so how many can we make four eight 12 16 20 24 28 32 so we need two more oh my goodness um and the reason that we haven't been able to complete this is because of the freaking electrical circuits man so close so close all right not a problem though um we'll just finish this off very quickly we know how to do this now um what the hell oh wait <laughs> we know how to do this now he says and then completely messes up the recipe 
Oh, oh man, what a noob. So all we've got to do, guys, is make one more electrical circuit. We all know how to make an electrical circuit. Really, really easy. Refined iron in the middle, redstone on the sides. There we go. Let's make one more machine casing. Just like this, refined iron along the top. That's going to give us four, and that gives us 36. That's more than enough standard machine casings for our task of making an industrial blast furnace. Oh my god, guys, are you excited, man? I am so freaking excited. Let's get our buttholes over to the, um, the machine room and get this industrial blast furnace created. I think what we need to do is actually inject some more power into the butthole of that MFE, man. Squidward and friends, get busy sucking and making energy, please. Um, these three are now going to start sucking up lava from the, their reservoirs and this MFE should be charging nicely now. There you go. You can see the power is getting pumped into the MFE and it is getting ready, man. Okay, so let's drop. I think what we should do is make our industrial, um, our, our standard machine casing first, right? So this is, so basically the industrial blast furnace is going to control this thing, right? And what this thing is, is a reinforced structure and inside the reinforced structure is where the smelting happens, right? So we're smelting titanium here, people. You know, titanium is pretty damn strong stuff. So, um, you know, you, you, uh, titanium does not mess around. And uh, titanium is so strong, in fact, that we need lava to be able to smelt it down, which, is, <laughs> which I think is really sweet. So um, as you can see, this is why we needed all these machine casings. Um, now, inside there is, the, the lava is going to be in here, right? So it's quite delicate work actually we need to we need to um, add a bucket of lava to the top add a bucket of lava to the bottom and then seal it off without the lava flowing into the machine room and killing everything so let's try and do this guys one two and machine block bam okay so now um, our industrial furnace blasting um, case is ready and that means we can install the industrial furnace now if it if it works, this should be green. Yes! Okay, it is working. Excellent. Okay, so heat capacity 15, 20k. I have no idea what that means. Let's have a look at our MFE. Is it draining? No, it is still filling up. So that is good news. Let's get our freaking titanium dust. Oh man, this is epic, guys. Um, right, here are our tiny piles of titanium dust. Here is our titanium dust. Let's make one more pile of titanium dust and this is it the moment of truth people is our industrial blast furnace going to work or is the cyber labs going to blow up in smoke here we go let's do this baby all right so titanium dust into the industrial blast furnace comply and is anything happening hello hmm maybe it takes a bit of time to 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 heat up or or start up let's have a look at the mfe the MFE is totally full now. Oh, you know what we need to do, guys? We haven't actually connected the um, industrial furnace to the power cable. So <laughs> that why, that's why that isn't working. So let's quickly head down into the Cyberlabs maintenance level. I think what we're going to do is disconnect the machine lines uh, from the main line. Uh, or disconnect the machines from the main line so that the industrial blast furnace can enjoy all of the power of the MFE. All right, this is it, guys. If this blows up, um, <laughs> we've got a problem. Uh, bam! Okay, no explosion, so that is good news. All right, now, now we are ready to get blasting, baby. Oh, this is going to be epic. Okay, so all of, all of our machines are disconnected, so um, we can't have any sort of power surge or anything like that. The green light is on. We have our titanium dust ready. Get into the industrial blast furnace, and look, the cycle has started. Oh, yes, this is epic. Oh, my goodness, guys, this is so awesome. So check it out. The MFE is being drained big time. Not, I mean, not even three Squidwards are good enough to power an industrial blast furnace. So that is absolutely crazy. We're going to have to find a better way to power this thing if we want to make a ton of titanium. But guys, while that is smelting away, the reason that we want titanium, um, just as a reminder, is because we are trying to make this machine over here a quarry, which is an automatic mining machine. And to make a quarry, we need to make this diamond drill over here. And to make this diamond drill, we need two titanium ingots. And uh, to get the titanium ingots, we needed to make this industrial blast furnace 
this compressor and this rolling machine and this industrial electrolyzer. So an absolutely incredible, incredible amount of work we've had to do just to get titanium ingots. And I tell you what, guys, I have loved every single second of it, man. It has been so awesome making all of these machines. It has been so much fun. But check it out, titanium ingot in the belly. We've got one more to come. Uh, it looks like, man, has the MFE been drained already? No, jeez, man, I was like, damn, I thought I thought the cycle had stopped there. Nope, there it is, baby. Titanium ingots in the belly. Can you believe it, guys? I can't believe we got there, man. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Um, but it has been an epic, epic journey. I cannot wait to get that quarry going because that what what the quarry is going to do is it, it is going to suck up uh, blocks, 64 blocks by 64 blocks all the way down to bedrock and we're going to collect every single one of those blocks now some of those blocks will be valuable which we will be storing but the rest of them we will be recycling and recycling is what um is you're able to turn just normal blocks like dirt and gravel into iron um through the the methods of recycling so guys that is kind of the end goal but guys look at this man we've got titanium ingots in our hand that means in the next episode we're going to be able to start working on the quarry in fact we're going to be able to make the quarry and even get it set up and fired up baby it is going to be absolutely epic guys thank you so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed the this episode and the and the the blast furnacing that has just occurred please hit that like button man uh, it is much appreciated and of course if you haven't subscribed yet you know what to do man you hit that subscribe button with a vengeance i'm gonna pop it up on your screen right now Kablam! and of course guys if you are a long time watcher and a long time cyber dog thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you've enjoyed it and uh you know leave some love in the comment section for me guys anyway this has been Ren Dog playing minecraft feed the beast the minecraft edition we're making a quarry in the next episode guys cannot wait to see you again this is Ren Dog signing out goodbye my friends